Hello and welcome, my name is Sarah and I create mod tutorials for The Sims 4. Today we're going to look at strings and images. The file I have in front of me currently is the tutorial Sims 4 Studios strings package file and I just wanted to do like a quick video about how to change text. So this video is perfect if you are trying to change text into your mod or you want to translate another mod. So yeah, Yes, first things first, you open that package file, of course. When you go to the homepage, you have my projects. Um, just click on that, open the package file. And if you've already opened it previously, it'll be right here. So you can just go and click on that. Then if you are creating a new mod and you want to have your first string files here, you can go into add and select strings, whatever, where it is, but I always find it easier to just go to tools, string table, look up, and I just always the first one, select the first one, make sure it's in the language that your game is in. So here we are. And now every single language that The Sims comes in is right here. So if you want to translate a mod, then you open it and most likely you will see all these different flags. For example, I'm Dutch, so, but my game is in English. If you you would click on the flag of your country you could just go in here and say edit items then here will be all the text and all the text most likely will all be in English or whatever language the mod is in and then all you got to do is just leave these alone for sure leave these alone because these are important they refer to where the text is placed inside of the mod um, all you have to do is go to value and then change the text uh, translate it whatever is here in English I just typed in some gibberish but if you type anything in, it will change automatically out here. So that's just a quick thing about how to translate a mod and then it will be um, changed in here. So if you click on text, all the different texts will be here. And if you can't remember exactly what the text was about, just go to any of the other ones and then you can have a look at what the text was. Um, if you are translating, please make sure to delete everything and then only export this one um, from the language you have translated. Now, if you are creating your own mod, um, I just recommend deleting every single language that your game is not in. So my game is in English, so I just leave the string table for English and then you can just go and add on text in here. So I opened the core file and here we are. I just added a trade. Um, this is a sim preference and this is the likes the color red. I already changed all the details. Check out a previous video of how to do that. But for example, we want to create a new color in a color preference and that's going to be the color maroon. So here we are. Now, how do I'm going to change the text? Right now it says likes the color red. Just going to move this over here and open this file, um, our string package file. Just going to remove the first one because that's not necessary. So you can go in and say I'm going to copy those numbers, add and then paste it in here and then change this to likes the color maroon. But now we have run into an issue because what we have done now is change the like the color red to like the color maroon. So we don't want to override, we want to create a new text. I'm going to bring back the hash generator and what I like to do um, is I'm just going to place a number behind it because I know trade preferences they need the F31, 31, 32 sorry numbers for the instance. Um, so that's why I place a one behind it so I'm making sure that I have new uh, new key numbers instance, whatever they're called. <laughs> and I'm just going to go and place those over here. Then I'm going to click save and then change them out here. Now you might be wondering, why don't I just change it behind here? That should automatically change the text in the mod, right? No, it does not. This is just a reference for yourself. So you know what you have written in this key. 
Um, so you don't constantly have to like open this. Sometimes hundreds of files can be in here and it's a pain to search. So that's why it's just really great if we just place this green section behind here and change that as well. So will the mod still work if I remove this? Yes, it will still work perfectly fine. It's just harder for you to know what you've written in those numbers. So I'm just gonna go control Z and then just place it back. Now, if you hold control down and you click or you click and drag, it easily um, selects whatever you wanna copy. So I'm gonna go until the end word of maroon. So from the zero until maroon and then copy that. And then I'm gonna control click this one again and then go all the way to the end of red and just paste that. So now the display name is likes the color maroon and it's also for gender neutral uh, likes the color maroon. Now also very important with text if the file comes with the sim data is that we're gonna control and click this, copy that and then go and find display name out here and then change these numbers. Otherwise it will still say likes the color red. Also you might have noticed if we open these this one again is that here are the numbers after the zero X and here are the numbers with the zero X. So that's just how it works. If you're adding the zero X in here, it doesn't work anymore. And that's just very simple how to change the text of anything. So all we got to do now is if we want to add more, we just gonna go and click add. Um, or if you're making multiple different colors, we can just click on this one and say copy. We will we'll copy the exact same thing. I'm just going to go and select that one and say remove. Um, for example, if you're also adding the color sage, you can just easily change it like that. Or if you're doing the dislike and say dislikes. Now, of course, we do have to make sure that we change these numbers as well. So again, with the hash trend already, you do the whole thing. Now, if you made a mistake, you're like, oh, I don't know what just happened. Uh, this whole thing has become way too complex. There's no more overview. I don't know. Something went wrong. I just got to redo it all. You could just go and click clear. Now I'm back in the strings package file only. And I just want to have a quick overview of how to find in-game images. So for that, we're going to go into tools and we're going to game file cruiser. And if you've seen the previous videos, you know that I mentioned that I like to have my icons in this package file and my text. Now all images will be found under the DST image. I'm going to go and select that. Then what I like to do is just go to the side and click on file size because I know that these are all files that work perfect um, for anything that needs an icon. So all these files are 128 by 128 and I know these will all look very sharp in game and not blurry at all. Now for buffs you want to go into the 1.7 um, and these are all in-game icons that are the perfect size for buffs. Uh, I also like to make this one a little bit big bigger <laughs> so I can have a good view of like which buff or anything like that what I want. Now it takes a really really long time to go through everything and to make sure you find the correct image. Um, if you know the image you want and if you know that it's from a certain pack, all you got to do is just click on here and then type in the number from that expansion pack. For example, I want something from Snowy Escape and I know that's like expansion pack number 10. So all I have to do is just type in EP and then 10 and it say enter or click on filter. Um, and then again, I'm just gonna go and say, click on file size. And I know these are already gonna be great buffs if I want anything like that. So here we have everything from Snowy Escape, but if you want base game only, it's just very difficult to <laughs> scroll through everything and find it. Um, yeah, so here we have everything from Snowy Escape and that's just how you can have a look at any um, expansion pack. Uh, game pack is a GP and then stuff pack and kit is both SP. 
and then just type in the numbers if it's um, the first one always go zero one so anything under 10. Now one last thing for images is that if you really can't be bothered looking through every single icon from in-game uh, but I understand because it takes a lot of time. There is this website and it's linked um, on my Discord and it's a French website, but basically it has almost all the icons from PAX. Um, and you can just go and search here and I have everything downloaded and placed in my documents folder. Uh, however, it's not every single icon and that could be quite frustrating. So because sometimes I really am looking for something specific and I know I've seen it in a game, I just can't remember where. Um, so I've just opened a trade um, forever fresh. I don't know, that was just the first one I saw. Um, another way to find icons um, that you know are already on a trade or anywhere else in game and you know which tuning file it is, all you have to do now to find that image is just go and find the word icon and then go all the way back and copy this one. Then we're gonna go and open the game file cruiser again. Go to DST image. And then you just paste it over here and say filter. And there we go. And then you could just add it to your current package file or you can export it as an image and or you can just export it as a batch. But honestly, just go and click on that one or export it as an image. So now you have added the image into your file. So I do recommend every time you create a new mod to add the images into your mod as well, even though they might be base game. Um, but if you use the instance, um, so those were the numbers that we just copied and just place those into your mod, but the, the image itself might be from a expansion pack. And even though the mod doesn't need that expansion pack, someone who doesn't own that expansion pack might not have that image. So that's why I just recommend always placing them into your um, strings package file. Now, once you're done fully with your mod, um, all you gotta do is to make sure that every single person um, in the world with every single language um, that the games comes in, that they uh, do have text into their game. It's just going to tools and then modding and then go into copy a string table to all languages and it will just copy the um, text to every single language in game. So the text itself will be in English. So we have the like the color maroon and it will now say in every single language likes the color maroon. Um, so it will not translate automatically. So that's why you can translate it yourself if you want to or anyone else who's interested can translate it. So that was today's video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, you can also go to my Discord and assign yourself the mod tutorial role. Um, then you can get notifications when new videos are coming up or you can just ask questions. I'm always here to help. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.